Welcome to another video on Amazon Bedrock and Generative AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a retail banking agent which will answer the queries of the customers related to the status of their bank accounts. And we're going to build this agent using Amazon Bedrock agent. And you can think of Amazon Bedrock agent as an orchestrator which is driven by the intelligence of a large language model. In the process of building this use case, we are going to utilize various capabilities of bedrock agents such as integration with DynamoDB, building and integrating rag based applications with knowledge base. Then we're going to look at automation of prompt creation as well as chain of thought. This video is part of my best selling Udemy course on Amazon bedrock and generative AI. You can also check some other generative AI applications that I have built as part of this playlist, including building a chatbot, text summarization, code generation, building a rag based application and so on. Now let's go ahead and check out our use case. Now let's explore what we're going to build as part of this use case. So using Amazon Bedrock agents, we're going to create a retail banking agent. Now let's take an example. Say we have three banking customers, John, Thomas and Manju, who are trying to open a new checking or saving account. So they live in Chicago and let's say there's a fictitious bank of Chicago, which is in their vicinity and it's offering $500 credit for anyone who opens a new checking or saving account. So all three of them head out to open the account and they submit the requisite documents and then the bank provides them a temporary account ID. So for John, it's 5555. Thomas 6666 and Manju 7777 and then the banks ask them to come back after three days and check the status of their new account on the bank website. Now within these three days, let's assume the Bank of Chicago created a DynamoDB table and based on the temporary account ID that it had provided, it assessed the documents provided by these three customers and determine whether their account status is active or is it pending. And Thomas, you can see the John has account status as active because all its documentation was valid. But for Thomas, it could not validate its identification. And for Manju, it's still pending because it could not validate its address proof. Now we have this Dynamo DB table as source of truth for the bank. Now, after three days, Manju goes to Bank of Chicago website and we know its temporary account ID is 7777. So it logs on to the agent and poses a question. Now let's go ahead and check out the actual demo of what we're going to build as part of this use case. Now this is the agent that I have built for the retail banking. And now let's just go ahead and test it out. Okay, now I'm on the bedrock agent. Now let's just go ahead and pose a question to it. Let me just start by saying hi and let's see the response. Okay, it's saying what is the account ID on the right hand side. You can also see that it's showing me a trace and we'll discuss about this a little later. But for now, just remember that there are three types. One is the pre processing trace orchestration and knowledge base and third one is post processing trace. Okay, now let me just provide the account ID. So we know that Manju was trying to ascertain what is the status of our newly opened account. So let me just paste that question and her temporary account ID was 7777. So let me just ask this question. Now you can see it's provided me an answer saying that for account ID 7777, the status is currently pending due to invalid address proof. So if I just go to my DynamoDB table, this is the DynamoDB table that the bank had created. And if you see account ID 7777, it shows name Manju, account status pending and reason as invalid address proof. And that's what it's showing. But now it's also saying this means that the address proof document you submitted when opening the account was not valid and was rejected. And it's giving some more details and it's showing also some citation. So now the question is, where is this answer coming from? So we had discussed that agents can connect both to your data source such as RDS and DynamoDB, but also 
connect with your rag based solution or retrieval augmented generation so which means one of your sources could be a pdf document which the agent can read and then retrieve answers so let me just show you if i just click on this citation and it's showing that it is within the s3 bucket and this we are going to create as part of this use case and you can see this is the description of various error codes in new account opening and what is basically this so this is the document or pdf that i had created which says okay if you're saying invalid identification error code what does this actually mean and i just made up something saying that okay if it's invalid identification that means you have not provided a valid identity document but the point is that we can connect with both the our internal data source like a dynamo db or rds but also build a rag based solution where we could have like pdf or some other data sources which our agent can retrieve the data from and for rag based solution amazon uh, bedrock agent uses knowledge base so if you don't know what is knowledge you can check out my other use case on how to build an e learning app where i have used knowledge base now let's pose another question to this and let's say what is the account status of account id 5555 and if we go to the dynamo db table you can see for 5555 john it's active now let's just go ahead and pose this question and you can see it's given a response it says for account id 5555 the status is active this means account is successfully opened and ready to use and this is data is coming from dynamo db okay now that we have gone through a quick demo now let's go ahead and see how to build an architecture for this kind of a retail banking agent now that we have seen the demo of what we're going to build take a look at the retail banking agent architecture so we're going to build this solution on aws so we have the aws account now the first thing we'll do is we'll create a bedrock agent using cloud foundation model and in particular we're going to use cloud 3 sonnet because there's a lot of conversation about how good this foundation model is now if we can show you how to create an agent through the console so we can see here you just go on this agent give the name of the agent provide a description and in our case this agent will have the customer with the status of their recently opened bank account and then you select the foundation model so you can see right now it's only supporting anthropic so we select anthropic and then we select the cloud 3 sonnet and these are the available options then the next thing we have to provide is instructions for the agent and this is extremely important because it gives a context to the agent on what its domain is or what are the areas that it can answer the question so here you can see i have written you are a banking assistant in retail bank you are friendly and polite you help resolve customer queries by providing the bank customer status on their new bank accounts now that we have created this bedrock agent now let's say we have uh, the banking customer say it's manju and she is asking what is the status of bank account id 7777 like we saw in the demo now this user input is going to go to the foundation model and it goes through a step called as pre-processing now in this pre-processing what happens is the agent has a prompt store so it will take this user input and convert it into a prompt that is conducive for this particular foundation model right now the bedrock only supports a cloud but in future if it supports other foundation models then it's going to convert this user input into a format that is right for the foundation model so once this prompt is sent to the cloud foundation model as part of the pre-processing steps it will validate and categorize the prompt into few different sections so first it will check whether or not the prompt is malicious and if it finds that it is malicious it's not going to do any further processing on that the second categorization is whether it is within the domain of that bedrock agent so here we are building a retail banking agent but if i ask it a question 
asking what is the status of my claim id 7777 and the response we are going to get is that this is not an insurance agent this is a banking agent and this question is not valid so those are the few steps that happen as part of the pre processing so once this cloud foundation model determines that the user input is valid so it needs to determine what is the next action that it needs to perform so for that amazon bedrock expects you to create something known as open api schema and upload that file in the s3 bucket so you can create the open api schema either in yaml or json and you can see this is the format so the most important thing here is the description so you need to provide the description saying that okay api for determining the status of new accounts open now this is the yaml file that we are going to create as part of this use case so here you can see you have some details on open api version and then the title of this uh, open api schema then what is the description basically determine the status of new accounts open based on the account id and then you define which function would be invoked if it matches to this description so what are the parameters that we are going to pass and what is the response we are going to get so the parameter we are going to pass is the account id and the response we are going to get is the account id reason status and so on now this description is important here Uh, because what this foundation model does is based on the user prompt it does a semantic match to this description and if there is a match it will invoke the lambda function that has been defined here so this is sometime known as the orchestration step and as part of the orchestration step what the cloud foundation model does is it looks at the user input it looks at this open api schema and then it also looks at the instructions for the agent so what is the key role of the agent based on all these parameters this cloud foundation model breaks down the task into manageable steps and then provides a logical reasoning on how it plans to execute the task or sometimes called as chain of thought now let's say based on all these parameters and reasoning the cloud 3 sonnet foundation model determines that it needs to invoke this new bank account status to determine the status of account id 7777 now the logic for this particular function needs to be written as part of the lambda service because bedrock agent allows integration with lambda function so it is going to invoke a lambda function called as new bank account status now let's take a look at this lambda function and what it does and as part of this use case this is the lambda function we are going to write and this lambda function would be invoked by the agent and what this lambda function will do is it's going to query the dynamo db table that we create as as part of the use case based on the user input so if the user says that what is the status account id 7777 so this lambda function is invoked and is going to retrieve the data from this dynamo db table now in amazon bedrock terminology open api schema and aws lambda together are called as action groups and you can see here for our agent this is the action group we are going to create so if i so if i just click on this you will see basically so you have to define the open api schema which is on uploaded on an s3 bucket and the lambda function okay so once we have created this action group next we already discuss this lambda function is going to make an api call to dynamo db and retrieve the data that has been requested by the user and once agent receives this response it's going to send it back to the user but previously we saw that user might pose another question which says what does the invalid address proof mean if its account status is pending 
Now we saw that this data is not provided in the DynamoDB. So for that, we created a PDF document and this is our PDF document which talks about various error codes and what does that mean. And for that, Bedrock Agent allows us to integrate with a RAG based or retrieval augmented generation based solution which you can build through Amazon Bedrock Knowledge Base. So how this RAG solution works is basically we just saw the PDF document on the error codes. So you just upload it on the S3 bucket and then use the knowledge base to create chunks out of that long PDF document into certain fixed size chunks. And then you can pass these chunks through the Amazon Titan embedding model and create vector embeddings and then store those vector embeddings in a vector store and in our case we are going to use AWS open search. So when the user has posed this question what is the invalid address proof mean this question is going to be passed through Amazon Titan embedding model and then agent is going to query this vector store and get a response for our user. So once the final response has been sent to the user, it's sometimes also called as the post processing task. So this is sometimes also known as chain of thought reasoning and it has three steps, pre-processing, orchestration and post processing. Now let's take a quick look at chain of thought reasoning and these three steps, pre-processing, orchestration and post processing. Now, if we can just go to the demo where we ask what is the account status of 6666. Now, if you just click on this show trace and you can see there are three tabs here, pre-processing. And if you just read through after running an input in the test window, this pre-processing step trace allows you to explore the trace steps to understand if the user input was, was identified as malicious or outside of the agent's domain. So this is what pre-processing trace does when you give it an input it traces whether it can be classified as malicious or outside of agent's domain but if it's a valid user input as in our case then it will go into orchestration and knowledge base step so after running the prompt window this orchestration trace allows you to explore the trace steps to understand the linear chain of thought used by agents orchestration prompt component if a knowledge base was invoked the trace allows you to see the results from knowledge base were summarized and generated as an observation now if i just click on this trace step one so you can see all the model parameters have been defined here so temperature top k top p so you can see here as part of the text it says you are a banking assistant in a retail bank you are friendly and polite so this is nothing but the instructions that we had provided. So it's taking that as one of the inputs. Next, it says that you have been provided with a list of functions and one of them is get all open accounts. And this it's able to read from this openspec.yaml file that we had written. And this is the operations ID. Okay. So similarly, it looks at other attributes such as the user question. What is the account status of account ID 66? So this is basically this question. So it interprets all these different inputs and then defines a rationale. So it says to get the status of new account, I need to call get action group demo, get all open account status function. So that's basically our Lambda function and provide the account ID parameter. So for our Lambda function, this is the parameter that we're going to pass. And then it says I have the account ID value from the user's question. And then it looks at the action group name, API path, basically for our Lambda function. These are the parameters going to pass. And then this is an action group and this is the response it's going to get. So the account status, the reason and some of the other thing and and this was the trace step one then you can also go to trace step two and then it further processes this information and then comes with the final response which says the account status for account id 666 is pending the reason given is invalid identification for the 
account and the type is orchestration so this is how you can see the agents reasoning and orchestration plan through this tab and then finally you have the post processing trace which allows you to explore the trace steps taken to generate the final response okay that's pretty much it from this lecture hope this lecture was useful i'll see you in the next lecture